Hello, welcome to this quick post explaining how to photograph ceramics for Instagram in particular. Uh, ceramic photography at the gallery is my favourite type of photography. Uh, ceramic sculptures of animals in particular I, I like photographing, but I do like doing all of them in general. Um, this is generally because the handmade pieces of work we stock are all unique and one of a kind, so there's some variation there between each piece. So in a nutshell, here's the answer. How do you photograph ceramics for Instagram? Uh, na the nature of ceramics draws the eye with the various colours, shapes, forms. Um, unlike other artwork, props and backgrounds are not gen gen wired to set the tone. A plain white background with good lighting, a good co quality camera or cell phone camera and an editor are all you, all you really need. So the purpose of product photography for Instagram is of course to have people see it, like it, share your stuff, click through to your website and then buy it if that's what you're going for. Uh, this all starts with a picture that stands out. So here's some DIY photography tips for those of you doing it at home. So how can you do product photography from home in as simple as a way as possible? All you need is really the sun, a window, a camera or mobile, and a large piece of white card. Get the piece of white card next to the window, curl it along the edge of the window sill, place the ceramic piece on there, sort of sit sideways and practice taking photos from different distances, different angles, with close-ups on the details and play with moving the camera away the ceramic away as much as you can from the window and play about with the angles to um, well either add shadowing for effect or to get rid of the shadowing so it's not distracting I do have an article on a website about removing um, shadows from product photography productpicktips.com but apart from that the reason you want to use natural light through the window is because it's going to wrap around everything and if there is shadowing on the other side here anyway, get some white card and put it on the side with the shadows to reflect it back onto it and then yeah, just go from there. Now to get those extra, extra eyes on your photography, I'm going to put some hashtags on the screen now which I have used of, and researched myself that does get some good um, some good exposure for you. Um, I've got some on there as well with some blanks for you to put in your locality so for example I'm in the UK, Cambridge so I, I use my town in those spaces.